Hello my soccer universe and welcome to what is probably my favorite video every year which is looking at the top 10 jerseys that I like. You might very well have a different top 10 and that is all fine and all par for the course. Before we jump into the top 10, uh, I will show you actually the top 10 22 jerseys so that's why it's the top 10. Typically, honorable mentions and all some other considerations are in there. But before we go in there, the background are all jerseys that have featured over the past three years in my top 10, or even past four years, because I think Lazio was in the first one in there. So to show you uh, the kind of jerseys that I have liked in the past, I have given an emphasis on uh, the 21 jerseys. And also, you know, you see that these top 10 lists are also kind of an internal shopping list for myself. Now, how did I choose the jerseys in there? I always try to cast as wide of a net as possible. But uh, there are some restrictions. I cannot look at every single shirt that's out there. So what I decided is I have looked at all the jersey reviews that I did this year. Um, including big tournaments. So we have the AFCON in there. We have the Women's Euro. We have the World Cup, of course, in there, which all feature all kind of prominently uh, in um in, the, in this video. Then I'm looking at all the club jerseys that have been released for the 22-23 season. However, again, I want to cast as wide a net as possible and I'm following some stuff, but to be honest, I have not even completed the jersey reviews for League A and Serie A, which will be coming early in the new year. Uh, so I had to look at these. So I looked at all the competitions that I am covering on this channel. So this is... this. Uh, in, in, in addition to those two that I've mentioned, we have the Austrian Bundesliga, we have the German Bundesliga, we have the Premier League, uh, and we have La Liga, there's also the Eredivisie, and there's then uh, the Premier Liga, or uh, Liga Portugal, uh, in Portugal in there as well. Then I add the three, meanwhile, European comp competitions, the Champions League, I look at all the jerseys that have been used in the main group stage. Yes, probably should have looked at the first qualification round as well. Any case, in the group stage, I looked at all the Europa League group stage uh, jerseys and I looked at all the Conference League group stage jerseys. So this is the set that I'm choosing from. You can see there are no second uh, league jerseys in there. I think over the time only one has made it, which was the Venezia jersey that's up here, because I was so aware and I was so much in love that I just added it to the countdown. Uh, this didn't happen this year, honestly. Uh, I don't, um, I, nothing really made it in there. So from all these review videos, I chose the jerseys that have got a 10 or a 9 star rating. And then I had to, as I said, for uh, Champions League, Europa League, Conference League, Serie A League, uh, where I didn't have a rating yet, I had to go through these and see, okay, which are 9, which are 10 stars and put them in the mixer as well. And I think I came up with a total of almost 70 jerseys. However, what was the good thing is that only 9 of the, uh, uh, that nine of these were 10 stars. Only 9 were 10 stars. So that made actually the selection relatively easy then and then I had to just fall off of the 9 stars decide which one it is. Which was then also quite easy, and you will see the reason for that relatively soon. So this is how I selected it. Now, a few caveats. You will not see some very popular jerseys in there because either I don't I find something a little bit wrong with them, or uh, I just don't like them. What was really interesting to me is that you know I already said there is no Venezia in there. There's also not the Calithea from uh, Greece is also not in there. Uh, some also much fancied like the Ajax. Ajax will not be in this list this time around. Although Ajax have been a mainstay uh, over the past two years, they're not in here as well because I didn't quite find them up to snuff with some of the jerseys that I have in here. Um, there's also no Adidas World Cup jerseys in there, even one in the honorable mentions, which uh, once that surprised me, but on, on, on the other side, I find the, while there are some great ideas in there, I find the cut of them a little bit also. That's why you won't find any of these in here. So with all that, I think it's time for the countdown and I put up the countdown here. I will do it a little bit differently. You will see the top churches in there and the jersey that actually have this on a little gray area. I will display it and we'll start with number 10, 
which is the Zimbabwe home jersey at the AFCON, which may have already been released in 21, but I was aware of it in 22. And what's even better, I, or I have it. So that's why it's, there's a green uh, shading uh, there. What can I say about this jersey? It is what I love about it that it takes Zimbabwe in yellow and it puts this rather bold flag graphic. And um, conveniently enough, there's the flag also on there. You see it, of course, in, in the graphic as well to kind of really hit the um, point home. This is a Zimbabwe jersey, and I absolutely love it because I think uh, if a national team can incorporate their uh, national flag in the design, unless it's not a um, traditional uh you know a, a, a traditional design this is always will hit me very very nicely of course i do prefer you know three color flags then you go with the uh, um, shirts pants and socks with zimbabwe this is a little bit harder to do but you know choose yellow and then put everything else on top so zimbabwe is at number 10. in at number nine i'm going with toulouse we've actually released three really nice kits the home kit is really nice, but it will not make the top 10 list. I think even the third kit has received some rave reviews, but the one that I really enjoy, and I was completely surprised when this is what I went, is this away jersey. The black with the color gradient in there, and on top of it, there is the city skyline in there as well. But uh, so those are two things. It's a very simple black jersey and but it's not black for black safe because there's so much color in there with this gradient which i really love adding a skyline i'm wondering whether couldn't it be a little bit lower like some italian teams have been doing atalanta but honestly i think this fits quite well here it's an absolutely gorgeous shirt one that i may not get <laughs> but you know it is a really really gorgeous shirt i absolutely love this one Going on to number eight, my favorite team has released an absolute stunner of an away jersey. Finally, finally Puma got the Milan away jersey right. You need to have the red and the black and you need to have a little pattern with that. Um, it does not feature higher, feature higher on this list uh, for two reasons. A, I think the picture is not a very good one that they made at the, uh, overall, but that the pattern that's on there does not wrap around. It's just kind of in this box and the Emirates Fly Better logo um, is not really improving the jersey. But this was from the beginning on my wish list, so it automatically makes it into the top 10 because it's a jersey I really would like to have. Uh, I already saw it, of course it has to be with the Scudetto and again, as soon as Milan have a Scudetto on their jerseys, then their away uh, jersey, like the last one, look really, really, really nice. Absolutely gorgeous shirt, this, this one, a very high on my wish list and is probably one of the ones that I will definitely get from the jerseys that I'm showing you here. Going to number seven, we're going to the World Cup and the England away jersey was not worn at the World Cup. But boy, what a great jersey that is. Um, again, why it's not even higher on the list, I've seen people rank it really, really high. <coughs> Idris uh, is, I'm not so sold on the uh, light blue background on the crest. That's maybe the one thing. I know it fits very well with the color, but uh, that, that, that's maybe the one, the, the one thing I'm not so sure. But I absolutely love it. It, has, it gives me such a 90s feel. It has to be in that it's one of the best jerseys. And you will see Nike will feature quite prominently in this list. I really love this jersey. Um, I may, if I see it for a good gold price, I may as well get it. Going on at number six, it is really hard to choose between the two jerseys. I think you can put them both on number six. Stuttgart has released an amazing set of kits. Even the third kit is really nice. The away kit with the black and red and then the white chest band, which is of course uh, copying a design from the late 90s, one that I fortunately own now, is already an absolute banger. Uh, I really love what they have done there. I'm actually gonna go with the home jersey because it is more classic Stuttgart. I really love how the star from Mercedes Bank uh, Bank is centered and kind of a little bit protruding out there, like the classic 90s Stuttgart jer uh, jerseys. And then you know you could have probably left it plain, but I think what puts it over the top is that you put landmarks of the city of Stuttgart on there to give it a kind of an extra special feel. 
I really would love to own this jersey and that's why I pulled it on there. Uh, the, since I have already a similar one to the away jer uh, jer jersey, the home jersey becomes a little bit more desirable. And what's most important is it wraps around, which makes it even sweeter. I really hope this is around when it is sale season that I can pick this one up because I wouldn't want to necessarily pay full price for it. In at number five, uh, that's a really left field addition. It is uh, Karabakh from Azerbaijan who played in the Europa League and all of the jerseys are really good but I have to say that the black one really sticks out. It is from a local company called uh, Il Azero. Sounds very Italian. Um, what I like about it, you know, Karabakh have had always had a black and a white jersey, but the way they did it with this very intricate pattern on there, which gives me so, it holds so much interest. Then uh, there's also a little bit of, of white on the sleeve cuffs and the collar and then the crest uh, in this nice gold. Although maybe in white it could, could have looked better. This is an absolute stunner of a shirt. And it's not a shirt that I've seen very, very often. But when I saw the um, kind of the highlights from the Europa League, I made out glimpses and I said, this is actually a really nice shirt. And then I found it and yes, this is an absolute stunner. Uh, really, really great shirt. That is definitely one that I think some collectors might go crazy for. Number four, of course, there's more than one Serie A team in there. And Sampdoria, we can always, you can almost, almost put Sampdoria in the top 10 and you will not uh, be wrong. I especially like this home jersey sponsorless. It's just gorgeous. However, it's not the home jersey because we have seen so many home jer jer jerseys and they're not playing sponsorless. They have uh, this very sponsor on top. We see also the away, uh, away jerseys and the other sponsor ones, although they have a sponsor. But I have to say the one that really sticks out is this third jersey uh, where you make it's kind of instead of the royal blue, you take the navy, then you uh, put it together on the a, a nice deep yellow shirt. Uh, the a special Sampdoria crest as well. This seems to be uh, very special and a very highlight of this Serie A season, one that I haven't seen very often. Sampdoria jerseys are always good. I think finally Macron have done it really nicely. There's no additional patches uh, appearing. So all, all good and all, all perfect there. Before we go into the top three, which are all national teams, I want to give you some honorable mentions. First one is probably my favorite jersey from this year's Austrian Bundesliga season, which is Austria Klangfurt away. I absolutely love what they have, have done with the purple uh, and the gold and then a little bit um, of this, uh, you know, deeper uh, reddish purple color in there. And also the sponsor fits really, really nicely. Sturm Graz is another one that is a really nice jersey, but I think I like this one a little bit better, made by Capelli. Ecuador's away jersey at the World Cup. I really like, especially when they got full color, when they've got full color crests um, due to kit reg 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 regulation. Although this one looks like I really love this Inca pattern all over and the uh, navy um, blue color scheme is really, really nice. Maybe the sleeve cuffs could have been also in uh, blue and not in the white, but absolutely love this jersey. Um, would love to get this one on a little cheaper. Twente. Uh, first of all, it's on the honorable mention because it's Maybar. But second of all, uh, of all the 20 shirts, 20 is usually playing in the plain red, but I really love that they went back to a 70s design where I think they made a deep run, if not won a European Cup title. So that makes it uh, stand out. It's just uh, the nostalgia from it. Yes, the sponsor could be a little bit better. That's why I didn't make the top 10. There are a few Eredivisie shirts that could have featured in there, uh, like a Feyenoord uh, away a home jersey, Vitesse away jersey. There are some really, really nice in uh, in there as well. Then again, back to the World Cup, a jersey that I have is the Japan away jersey. I really love the, the, the sleeves, but also that it's kind of a little bit more serene. I thought that the home jersey is a little bit too wild, although it gets rave reviews. You won't see it in this countdown. And then the last one is a centenary jersey for Vittoria de Guimaraes. The whole set is awesome. But I have to say this one with the chevron outlined in gold uh, really gives me all the right feels. Just not enough to break it into the top 10. But this is a really, really, really nice one uh, from Liga Nosh. Oh, no. 
League of Portugal, meanwhile. Top three. Those were really, really hard to distinguish. I think any one of these could have made it, but I went for Tunisia at, in at number three, but not the home jersey, although I really like what they did with Hannibal. I call it Hannibal's armor. I know it was not worn by Hannibal, but I really, really loved that touch. The reason why I decided to put those on three um, is that in-game you don't make it out and it looks like a regular cup shirt, but it's not the home jersey that I will put in a three. It's actually the third jersey because it has a different color scheme and the dark green, the olive green with the gold is a wonderful, absolutely outstanding combination that really stands out by itself, uh, even without the pattern in there. So that's why this is at number three. At number two, another team that regularly features in my countdowns is, of course, France. But here we have two options. I gave two France jerseys, two France home jerseys, 10 stars. Uh, the women's home jersey is, of course, all about the pattern. That really looks wild. I absolutely love that one. The thing that I don't like about it is the cut, especially this patch here, the red patch here on the, on the back. If that wasn't there, I think I would go, uh, I probably would have chosen that one because I love France being back in a royal blue. However, given the home jersey at the World Cup, I have it. There is just something about it. And I'm going to get the uh, winner's patch here. The navy with the gold. That's just, it is so glad. This is, it's a timeless, it's an absolutely timeless look. And that's why it features very, very high. But not on number one uh, for, uh, for two reasons. A, I think that number one does something a little bit more special because, you know, it is why well, I absolutely love this jersey to bit. Uh, there is a certain simplicity to it, uh, you know, just navy and gold that is a little bit expected. Also, I didn't want to have another year where I have a France jersey uh, on top. So France stays only at number two. At number one, the, the rum roll, please. I have the Brazil home jersey. And that's a jersey that I initially didn't like that, that much. I still am a little bit off with the crest, but at the World Cup, the Brazil kit stood out like no other. The luminescent colors were great. But what I like in addition, it has more or less the same cut than the France jersey. It's the same type of color. Everything is very, very similar. But while still very much the Brazil look, you know, green cuffs, green collar, they add a little bit of blue. We have the swoosh for the first time in blue, which just adds a little bit extra. And then to put the thing over the top, and uh, this is especially on the Weaponit version, uh, it becomes very, very apparent. And I think this is a jersey that if I'm getting, I probably should get it, uh, will get it in the way Weaponit we is the weapon it pattern is the leopard print which again goes back to the jungle of brazil and takes it to the next level at least for me it's an absolutely awesome jersey one that i would never have imagined at the beginning of the year when i saw all the first leagues that this will be the jersey that i will feature on the list but hey brazil at least win my countdown this is a jersey and especially the entire kit uh it really grabbed me I love the away jersey. I have the away jersey, but I have to say the home 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 jersey is even better. And when I see that one, I mean, I would have loved to see Brazil against France in the final. I think this would have been a, a gorgeous jersey matchup. So there you have it. Two Nike teams. Nike has been slammed. Uh, I had had a work for, for for the horrible jerseys, and some are really horror horrible. But when they get it right. As with England, as with France, and as with Brazil, they get it really, really, really right, and they look all awesome. So these are my top ten jerseys for 22. Do where do you agree with me? Where you don't? What are your uh, best jerseys? I really would like uh, to know about that. And you know, drop a line below. There are no South American club teams where I think there have been some awesome jerseys released as well. So I would like to hear from there which ones you would have liked. There too. In any case, that's it from me. You'll get one last video for the year, which is, of course, the moments of the year from my personal perspective. 
Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.